afternoon, potential college coaches, ex-college players in the Austin area. My name is Evan Doremus, and I am a current basketball player at St. Edwards University. Um, St. Edwards University puts on a free basketball clinic for kids of all ages from around the city of Austin. So they can come and they can learn from ex-players about basketball, not only basketball, but life skills also. A fact about the city of Austin, inside the city limits of Austin, there is over 800,000 people. And of those 800,000 people, 22% of those people are kids under the age of 18. And of those, those 22%, according to citydata.com, 10% of them are considered, quote unquote, very poor. With that statistic, most kids shouldn't be growing up this way, shouldn't be living this way. So we put on this clinic to try and help prevent that, help teach them skills that they can learn to help keep them safe on the streets and then they have basketballs to go to. My first point is we're not volunteering enough and we're not donating enough and that's an obvious fact but by, by this we're not helping eliminate this problem and by y'all not donating, y'all not helping, I understand the seasons and stuff is busy but by y'all not helping or donating or volunteering like we're not eliminating those terrible numbers so these kids are going to grow up, our future of the city and of the United States is going to grow up corrupt because these kids have to live in conditions that, that, that no child should have to grow up in. My next point is over 70% of the donations given to the clinic and the program have gone to help rebuild parks and schools around the city of Austin. That being said, the parks will help benefit the children because it will give them a place to go to when they're worried or when they're sad or if they just want to have a good time to just get away from the poverty that they're having to grow up in. By rebuilding, rebuild a new basketball gym, and a new, not a new basketball gym, like a new basketball court, outdoor court, my basketballs, and we also build like little jungle gyms for the young kids. So we just, we really want the kids to get away from what they're having to grow up in. And if you if you volunteer, when you volunteer, you can either help build the the courts themselves, or you can come to the camp that we give twice a year. It's a free clinic, and there you can help the kids like one on one develop relationships. <coughs> learn about the kids and what they're with and teach them life skills that they can take and benefit as they grow up. Now, whenever your players or you yourself come to volunteer at the camp, it'll be about a four or five hour clinic, probably twice a year, and whenever whenever you go, you just, like, you do basketball drills, you teach them different games that they play, different drills that they can use outside of the camp, and th that helps hone their skills and like I said, just keeps them off the streets and away from the poverty and violence that they have to grow up seeing. Some advantages of volunteering for the kids would be they learn how to play basketball. I mean, basketball is a very well-known sport. It's very well-watched, and lots of kids love basketball. So they would come, they would learn. And in, like an advantage for you would be that you get to form a relationship with a child and learn about that child and learn more and see if you can help them take away their worries and their stresses to teach them a sport that they potentially love because they came in camp. Also, we think that by learning a new sport and teaching them the drills and the life skills that they it will help prevent future violence. So when the kids get worried or the kids are in trouble and they can go to these parks that we are help building and it will keep them away, keep them off the streets, and keep them away from the stuff that they're having to see that they shouldn't be seeing. Now, we talked about today, we talked about how that not volunteering doesn't help the community. We talked about that the money that you donate or if you volunteer, where you can volunteer and where the money went. And we talked about the different advantages about teaching the kids the life skills and about basketball. Now the vision for the future of our program is definitely the broadest goal is to bring down the poverty numbers to help these kids grow up in a much safer, more productive area they're more, more better than what they're living now but uh, a smaller goal is to build rebuild at least 15 to 20 schools parks that way these kids can have like I said the basketball places and places like that that they can go to when they're worried or if they're stressed out so 15 to 20 schools is definitely what we want to get to um, that concludes my presentation if you want to know how to volunteer my number is on the handout you can email me or you can make online donations at gohilltoppers.com and if you have any questions, you can call or email me, like I said, on that number of the email address right there. Uh, open the floor for questions. You have to be good at basketball? No, I don't want to.